today we're going to put the Insane Diesel Extreme Oil Filter on a Duramax. So we're going to do an under the hood installation on this 2003 Duramax 6.6. When we mount the filter under the hood, we're going to use these two empty holes by the AC compressor here. We'll be replacing this stock oil filler cap and the hose from that cap will go to the out port of the insane diesel canister and then we'll run a hose down to the oil filter housing where we'll get our pressure feed so here's where we're going to get our pressure feed this is the stock oil filter housing here's our stock oil filter and we have a plug here and a plug here that we can remove to put in our fitting and run our pressure line up to the top of the engine where it will go to the end port on the extreme oil filter canister. So let's take a quick look at what comes in the extreme oil filter installation kit. You got your hoses, the essential fittings, and an oil filler cap. Okay, we're going to do some canister prep for our Insane Diesel Extreme Oil Filter Duramax installation. Now this is going to be an under the hood installation, but we're still, uh, for convenience sake, going to put on the universal bracket, which is uh, used most for installing on the frame to help us put the fittings in. We need to put the fittings in these two uh, ports, the in port and the out port. And so we're going to put this bracket on for to help us uh, tighten those up by putting that bracket in the vise, getting it good and tight. And then we want to use a rag to protect our filter to keep it nice and pretty. So we can slip down under, the, under there. And these are our fittings. Two fittings that will go in the bottom. And uh, the hose, hoses will connect on this end and these ports will go, these will go into the ports on the Insane Diesel filter. And we're going to Teflon tape them. The pipe side fitting, not the hose side fitting. seal those threads and install them just like that. So first we'll tighten one up. And our goal is not to only get them so tight that they won't leak, but to get them pointed in the same direction. And to do this, you'll have to go one at a time. And that's the basic setup, whether we're going to do a frame mount or an under the hood mount. For the under the hood mount, we're going to use these 90s. And for the regular mount, the frame mount or a horizontal mount, we're going to use the straight fittings. Now for our oil filler cap, that comes in the kit, and along with the supplied fitting, we're going to do the same thing. Teflon tape the fitting and install it into the cap like that, so that when we're done, it looks like this. First thing you want to do is change the old oil and the old oil filter so you get a fresh start. And then we'll head back up under the hood for that part of the installation, including the under the hood bracket. So we put the oil filler cap on and we run the hose just around here to where the filter's going to mount. Now we're going to put the filter mount on. Just tighten those down. Good and snug. You have some for the new Duramax? So now we're going to put this element in and uh, close it up. Then this will go about 15,000 miles or a year before we need to swap it out once again. Top off the oil and off you go again because it keeps the oil that clean. And that's how it looks when the oil filter is installed into the under the hood bracket. Okay, we've chosen to take out the access port, oil pressure supply port that's on the bottom of the oil filter housing right above the front drive line. The other one is up closer to the exhaust manifold and we want to avoid that. So. We got a 5 sixteenths Allen wrench to break it loose. Pull that plug out. Alright, then we got our Duramax elbow. This side's going to have the hose on it, and this side's going to thread into our port. We got some thread sealer on there, and we want to get that good and snug. Sometimes it helps to have a short throw wrench to get in here. I just cut mine in half. 
and we're gonna aim that so it faces back towards us. After installing the longer hose onto the import in the oil filter housing under the hood, we're gonna run it down to this uh, pressure port, running it in such a way to avoid sharp edges, hot edges, moving edges, and so forth. All right, so we're gonna just tighten this line up now that we got the fitting tight. Get that good and snug. And then we're just gonna run this hose up the firewall and zip tie it down to secure it. And that's how it looks. Be sure you have oil in it, fire it up and check for leaks. Then top off the oil and uh, drive a few times around the block and check for leaks once again. Alright, tungsten disulfide. The only NASA approved and certified engine saving formula. So for the ultimate in engine protection, use the extreme filter with extreme tungsten disulfide. So this is actually the only oil additive that is certified by NASA. It's actually used in the space crawler. And it has a proprietary formula that suspends the tungsten disulfide in the fluid so it makes it to all parts of the engine. It radically reduces friction by nanobonding with the uh, metal surfaces in the engine, super hardening them and super lubricating them. That reduced friction makes the engine quieter and can really help extend gas mileage. Those super hardened and lubricated surfaces also help protect against uh, the damage that can be caused during cold startup and radically extend engine life. The greater the temperature and the greater the pressures, the better it works. Who doesn't want some of that? After adding the extreme engine metal modifier to an already warm engine, be sure to drive the engine hot for another 20 minutes to ensure the best results. And that's all there really is to it. Uh, just about an hour and a half for some of the absolute best protection you can possibly get your truck's engine.